If someone told you to either destroy the Mona Lisa or kill four people, would you kill the four people or destroy the Mona Lisa? I asked a lot of my friends what they would do and their answers varied so much that I decided to make a video about it because I think that the end message is really important and I think that it's interesting and I hope that you find it interesting as well. The Mona Lisa is considered the most priceless painting in the entire world, okay? Just fathom how much money there is. None of that money can equal how much the Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa is worth. It's worth so much money that it isn't even insured. <laughs> the Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci, an Italian artist who painted it between the years of 1503 and 1506. It is an oil painting painted on poplar wood, and that gives it the impression that there's light shining through the painting. And it has the dimensions of 30 inches by 21 inches, and it is seen by roughly 6 million people every year and it is on display in the Louvre in France and I even saw it. Here's a picture of me standing near it because not next to it because there's a very 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 thick bulletproof glass over it because there are there have been people who have tried to throw acid at it, have tried to spray red paint at it. There was even a woman who threw a cup at it because she was mad that she didn't get French citizenship and there were people who threw rocks at it. So that's why it's not the most ideal experience you can get from a painting, considering that you're in a crowded, crowded, crowded room and you only really get to stare at the painting for approximately 15 seconds, which isn't really to my liking because when I go and see a painting, I like to stare at it for like two minutes, like up close and personal, but you can't really do that with the Mona Lisa. So I don't get as much like heartfelt attachment to it as some people may have for other paintings and I have for other paintings. After Leonardo da Vinci's death, it was inherited by one of his pupils and then the King of France bought it for 4,000 of the money that was then it's like Ikes or something. Then the King of France kept it in his palace and then when Louis XIV came into power, he kept it in the palace of Versailles and then after the French Revolution, it was taken and put into the Louvre in Paris. And that's where it was until 1911 when a Louvre employee decided to steal it because he was Italian and he believed that the painting belonged to Italy's museums and not France's museums. And he stole it for about two years before it was recovered. In a lot of ways, the Mona Lisa is a look into the past and it shows how women dressed and how women wore their faces and by where I mean makeup or lack thereof makeup. Like, as you can see in the Mona Lisa, you can see very little of her eyebrows and eyelashes and it was believed at the time that women removed their eyelashes and eyebrows so that they would look more beautiful. Now back to the scenario. So, would you rather kill four people or destroy the most priceless painting in the entire world, Mona Lisa? I asked 12 of my friends the same question and they in return asked me, most of them, who are these people? And here's what I told them. These people are the most average people in the entire world. They have families of 2.58 people. 10 out of the 12 people I asked would rather destroy the Mona Lisa than kill four people, four of these average people. My friend Reagan blatantly said, yeah, I would destroy it because it's not that great anyway. While my friend Gabe said he would rather kill the four people than destroy the priceless painting. My best friend said that actual human life is worth more than the interpretation of life from artists. But when I proposed this different question, what if the four people weren't just average people, but they were criminals. A lot of my friends wanted to know what crimes did they commit. And here's what I told them. One did armed robbery, one murdered someone, one streaked naked through a college campus, and one dropped acid. The reason I used this example was to explain that all crimes are not the same crimes, and so that they could see that all criminals aren't the same. Now, Nine out of 12 of my friends said that they would still destroy the Mona Lisa versus killing four criminals. Next, I asked, 
if it was a horse versus Mona Lisa. And this is where things got really, really interesting. My best friend Lara said that she didn't want to hurt a poor animal. My friend Kevin just said he didn't know. He just didn't know what to do. An unnamed friend, yes they have a name, I'm not going to say their name, said that they would kill four people no matter what. If they were their family, if they were their friends, if they were a horse, if they were criminals, if they were anyone, he would kill them for the priceless pain. My dad was the only one who questioned what if he didn't do either. And this is what I told him, of course, because I already had an answer. I told him that the Mona Lisa would be destroyed, that the four people would then die, and then he would be killed. And it would all be live streamed, of course. Which he then replied that he was too old for this scenario and he would leave it up to younger people to decide, and if he couldn't run away, he didn't know what he would do. Before I give you my opinion, I want you to comment down below and tell me what you would do and give me your reasoning. And then I want you to listen, obviously, and if you feel the need to comment again, then comment again! Yay! There are many people, historians, artists, just normal people everywhere, who believe that the worst part of the Holocaust was that all of the art and all the cities and all the things were destroyed. But, and this is where I start to read from my computer, 11 million people were killed in the Holocaust. 1.1 million of them were children. Whereas an estimated 43% of all Polish heritage was destroyed. 2,800 European paintings, 11,000 paintings by Polish painters, 75,000 manuscripts, 1,400 sculptures, and 516,000 individual pieces of art was looted. The Nazis set fire to 1,004 paintings and sculptures, 3,825 watercolors, drawings, and prints. This was after they had their famous book burnings. That being said, I would rather that the 146,629 of those sculptures, paintings, manuscripts, and the other 25,000 volumes of books be burned then have one person be murdered. But Bella, why? I love art, okay? I love art so much that I've spent the entire 18 years of my life, except, you know, when I was like dawdling around as a toddler, um, I've spent all those years looking at famous pieces of artwork in museums and studying them and trying to learn more about the artists and trying to learn more about the things and trying to learn more about art, basically. But I'm not trying to devalue all the art by saying that those pieces of art are worthless or something. But I think that if I were to go back in time and ask all of those artists who painted all those things and sculpted all those things and wrote all those things, that if, is, their, is their creation worth more than the life of one person, do you think that they would say yes? I made, I made those butterflies right there. They're hanging up, and I made that thing up there. I don't think you can see it. I made it. Is what I made worth your life? No, of course not. It's not worth your life. It's not worth my life. So, I think that the reasonable artist would say that their painting is not worth someone else's life. Like, they're gonna be like, yes, I will paint this so that one day one person will be murdered one person that I don't know will be murdered. I know that this is a very hard question to ask, a very hard question to answer, very, very hard questions to answer. And I would just like to point out that not everyone is morally consistent. I am not personally morally consistent, and I'll give you some examples why. I believe that if someone commits a horrible, horrible, heinous crime that hurts tons of people for no good reason, well, for any reason, you can't just hurt lots of people, but I believe that they should be removed from this earth, and yes, that means the death penalty, but I don't believe that lethal injection is humane. I think that firing squad is more humane than lethal injection, and if you disagree strongly about this, write it in the comments. I'd love to read it. and. I could explain more why I don't like lethal in injection and why I think it 
harms not only like people in general, but like corporations and the government, but only if you want me to. I'm not gonna force videos that you don't want to see upon you. Also, if the horrible, horrible person who committed the crime was going to be in place of the one random person on earth who was going to be murdered for all of those paintings, I would rather them die than the person that's just a random person. Or I would rather a person who makes people suffer every day but has the power to make them not suffer die for all the paintings instead of the one random person. An example, the leader of North Korea, the dictatorship basically, he has all these people in his country and he lives like a freaking king in his castle and he doesn't care that all these children and all these people are starving and I don't want to get too in depth about it because oh my god it hurts me so much to think about all these people just like starving and killing each other and trying to escape but they can't escape because they can't leave and this dude is just horribly fat and just eats all this food and like he just like kills everyone and laughs at it like, oh my god, he's not even trying, like, he doesn't even try to save them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch some documentaries about North Korea. North Korea, not South Korea. South Korea is a democracy. North Korea is a dictatorship. So, this is my brother, Turtle Hello. Boy. He is going to answer this philosophical question that I just now asked you guys, and he's going to give you his answer. Also, he's not my son. Stop commenting that he's my son. If someone told you that they were going to either destroy the Mona Lisa or kill four people and you had to decide, what would you do? Would you kill the people and let the Mona Lisa, the most priceless painting in the entire world, still see the light of day? Or would you kill the four very average people from around the world? Uh, I would destroy the Mona Lisa because it, plenty of people have seen it. There's lots of replicas. There's lots of copies. There's lots of different things. If you had the option to either murder a living animal or person or anything, or destroy something that thousands of people have seen, millions of people, and you can just look it up and see pictures of it.